Crowded classrooms and eliminated curriculum are some of the reasons Monaga Public Schools are seeking the approval of a multi-million dollar bond. Haiti Clotter has more from both sides. The choir at Monaga Public Schools is hitting the right notes. You can Yet they're practicing in an unconventional setting in the media center due to overcrowding. Well, it, it's our reality. So, you know, you, you live within what you have, but as you see the growth coming, you know, you adapt. Sophomore Amanda Lindquist is in theater and other activities and says students deserve better. More programs, um, better electives. We could all just like have better opportunities for all the students and we could all just kind of like do what we wanted to do. The future of Monaga Public Schools lies in the hands of voters. An election on the referendum will take place on May 9th and ask two questions. Question one is to approve a $29 million bond to replace and repurpose classrooms and the addition of a gym in high school. The second is $5 million for classroom equipment and stormwater management. If the whole thing passes, it's $35 million. The state's going to pay for over $17 million of that. So really, we're getting a $35 million building and making payments on $17 million. Monaga School District has increased its school population. I mean, when you add 34% more students in six years in basically the same space, we've added a little bit. Another example is the caffeinasium, where students eat lunch. It's also used for physical education classes. Teachers are feeling the effects. I've had anywhere from 34 to 38 students in my senior high health classes because there's not room for two sections of ninth grade Fayed. In her 20 years at Monaga, art teacher Dawn Ross back has seen a lot. She says the improvements on campus would help the quality of education. In this day and age, you know, when there's so many things globally that kids can try, you know, or doing their life, then, you know, they're not getting the opportunity to even learn about those things. But not everyone sees the new plan in a positive light. There's even a Facebook page with opposing views. My vote is a no. Signs throughout the neighborhood say it all. Monaga residents have no issue voicing their concerns, including open enrollment and taxes. And there's some people state that, you know, you should budget for your county, state, school taxes, da, da, da. Well, some people don't make a lot of money. Voting will only take place at the school, or you can drop your ballot off on May 9th from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. In Monaga, Haiti Clotter, Lakeland News. Wellen says if for whatever reason the referendum isn't approved, he'll go back to the drawing board. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.